Hey guys, this is CJ Strada and the focus not working. And welcome to my channel and today we are here at Palm Grass Hotel at Gara Street here at Cebu City and today is the first year anniversary of the hotel, the only heritage hotel of Cebu and we will celebrate by dancing, shouting and <laughs> <laughs> Today we will dance, shout, and celebrate the 120th. Today we will celebrate the 120th anniversary of the Battle of Trusty Abril and celebrate the heroism of General Pantaleon Solde Villegas, or known as Leon Kilat. Actually, this is my first time hearing Leon Kilat as a hero. Leon Kilat was the street of my college school here. <laughs> my school is located at Leon Kilat Street and then I didn't know that Leon Kilat is actually a hero. I've been here in Cebu for for almost eight years and this is my first time knowing Cebu's colorful history of about the Battle of Trestia Abril. Hang on, stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and hit the notification bell and share peace and love. in Cebu was built to celebrate brave and brilliant Cebuanos and to honor the legacy they left us. To begin our occasion, there is a symbolic ride of horse riders dressed as Katipoderos from Colon Bridge, Puente de la Revolucion, going to Palm Grass Hotel to celebrate the 128th year of the Battle of Tres de Abril. This is an actual parade, so there's a reenactment of the, uh, was this the Catiponeros? Uh, they're riding, uh, they're riding horses. It's like the old times. They are coming here at Palm Grass Hotel, and they should be arriving soon. So finally, they're here, and part of the program is to reenact the battle of Spaniards and the Catipuneros, so let's go check it out. was dope man as much as I would like to maintain peace and love here but that was art that was art that was Filipino art and then that is um, that's Filipino martial arts developed and was used by the Catecuneros to fight against the Spaniards so let's go check it out what's next year so guys what 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 did we learn today <laughs> Basta kuan. Dekan ka ayun ka ng kuan eh no? Cebu is really rich in history and, and I just knew it here 
here only at Palm Grass Hotel with the anniversary of the Trusty Abril Abril Tr Trusty Abril Revolution anniversary. So, Silion Kilap is the Silion Kilap, si General Pantaleon Guerrero. <laughs> Pantaleon Guerrero is the what? Oh, Hero sa Cebu. Almost won, but na yung sa kapag traitor daw ng Cebuano rapot, which is may nakapildi sa revolution. Anyway, I'm not really good at history because trivia. <laughs> That's my hatest subject in high school and college. So, mo na pinaga may grab do sa kwan. Pak, you made it on that top. You Bare, barely for history. <laughs> Because I really hate numbers and names, so. So I uh, think we have na sa tung panahon para kita tanan mga on. Yay! So I will be requesting everybody to. Okay, send guys. And so just in time, just in time for the best part of the vlog. I know you missed this song, so let's go. Ding 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 ding. My some of my favorite Filipino food. Number one, first and foremost, lechon. Rib part. Rib part is the best part of lechon. And then chicken in a sal. And then sinugbang isda. And then bisaya, alumpia bisaya. It's actually my first time hearing lumpia bisaya. And then I don't know puso sa sagi. And then sinuglao. Sinuglao is one of the best. Let's eat. Rayo is what many? Rayo is Rayo Dilio. Rayo? No, Rayo Dilio. Ah, ang kanya cotton. Cotton. Oh, merak. Mostly, most likely, doors sa sa canvas. So if it's cotton and most likely doors sa canvas, mo siya ni hand woven. Because during that time we don't have textile mills na yun. So loom siya hand loom, probably. Diba? Not necessarily kay... Pero ako mo kayo trading that time? Na na! Na na! Okay, so... Pag have been Chinese silk, Indian silk... Hindi, hindi po silk kay... Lison na ng silk para sa... Kuan, gira. It should be kuan... Cotton na siya. It should be stronger ang material kay... Kuan man isa ka ng... Panggira man isa. So... Nagpatay isa, nagpatay isa. Back then, even though... Revolutionist sila. They, fashion was really part of it. No, because partly as, as, a, as, a, as a need or as a, a necessity. Yeah. Pero in, 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 I could be wrong because uh, yeah. I, I'm using inference. Yeah. Uh, in, in studying history, Mangot, there are kwan, there are kanang guesswork. Na there are kwan, kanang pag pag unearth ni mo o historical facts, nagkakain yeah. isang gaps, yeah. so you have to fill in the gaps with kanang inference. ngano na kaya ngon kung mapaliduso si kwan yon kila tis nagira mangkuk ka, gikan ka, gikan ka nagira, gikan ka nagira ni atras ka sa kwan ni atras ka sa karkar ni pahuay Gika gubat, murak. The best, the the first thing you do is pahuai ka, mu 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 kuang ka, mu magregain ka sa imukan. He took time to go to the sastre. In short, for me, fashion or clothing is really integral to every man's the bab life. Wardrobe is really important. So. Siguro because aside from being him, him as himself, probably because he's somebody people look up to because squad which a leader of a revolution. Diba? So dapat nagin siya trace the part. Diba? Siya pwede na usual. So, okay na na. Diba? According to you know, what we read in history books in fashion, Barong was um, invented by the Spaniards because, diba, you know, man, no, na, um, because they don't want Filipinos, uh, they don't want, uh, they want to see if the Filipinos are bringing concealed weapons back. So, para makita nga ilang mga, ina mga sulob na may bolo or na may, 
sundang ang ipasulob nila katulad yung nagpis mga sinina parang parongan na nang para maklaro so fashion per se became fashion because there was a necessity or a need for for that wardrobe di ba? So, but since na andan man it became a national wardrobe na nato di ba? but yeah we owe a lot to Spanish culture okay we're back so the food trip and already ended early an hour ago and then there's uh sorry <laughs> great to know their history the of, the history of what happened before Cebu City I mean what happened in Cebu during the Spanish times which I haven't really I haven't really realized because I really hate subject history but this night made me love to learn about the history behind Cebu. So, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Share peace and love. Leave no trace. See ya.